hello all welcome back to my channel in today's uh, video i'll be talking about how to create infolets in oracle fusion so before we get into that first of all uh, need to understand what is the definition of infolet and what is the significance of infolet infolets are configurable information portals on your home page that provide critical information based on your transactional data so let me show you a simple example of infolet so this is my home page so if you scroll down so these are kind of a tiny infolet so this is providing some critical information if you look at here this is one of the infolet which says what is your uh, income operating income forecast and the change similarly here you have a uh, a simple info let which shows your debt to equity ratio and here it shows your uh, current ratio quick ratio and uh, your claims your policy by products and so on so these are kind of a simple portals on your home page which will provide some critical information based on your transaction data now i have taken a use case my use case is create info let to display details of the top five suppliers based on invoice amount. So there are on a daily basis, there are a lot of invoices which are created in the system. I'm referring to AP invoices. So whenever I open my, uh, whenever I will log into Oracle, so my requirement is in my info, it should, should pick up the top five suppliers based on the invoice amount. Now let us see what are the steps involved in creating an info let. Okay. So the first thing is you need to have a base data based on which your info let needs to be created. So first I'll show you the, uh, the the source wherein uh, we can create a simple uh, query or a kind of a report kind of thing which can be used in our infolet okay so my criteria is to pick up five suppliers top five suppliers based on the invoice amount so first you need to get into your uh, tools reporting and analytics <coughs> browse catalog and then here you have uh, your folder so let me go to shade folder and then custom folder within the custom folder now click on new create analysis so pick up your subject area so my requirement is to create an folder to display details of top five suppliers based on ap invoice amount so my subject area should be ap or your payables so scroll down uh, it should be payables it should be your yeah payables invoices transaction real time so i should be able to get my details under the subject area okay so my requirement is to get the suppliers as well as the invoice amount so invoice amount should be probably under here invoice amounts invoice amount drag it here and also i want to pick up the suppliers the name of the supplier yeah supplier drag it here you can rearrange yeah so supplier and the top five invoices so how does system understand what are the top five invoices so you need to add a filter so invoice amount is equal to you have a lot of conditions here our requirement is in the top five let's say top and if you want you can have a lot of your you can even write your sql expressions as well okay so display all those suppliers or top five suppliers based on the invoice amount so this is my criteria now go to results and let's see yeah now system is able to show top five suppliers based on the invoice amount so here you can see these are the top five suppliers based on the invoice amount. Now, 
I want to create a kind of a bar chart or pie chart for these uh, PISA plus, and I want to use those bar chart or pie charts in my info lens instead of just showing the numbers. So let me go here, create uh, maybe a first I'll start with bar chart. First of all, let me close this. Okay, so I just want to show this bar chart as my one of my info lens. And uh, let me just give a meaningful information. Uh, there should be properties. Where is this? Okay. Title. So the title should be top five suppliers uh, bar chart. Okay. And maybe if I want, I can make it a 3D. Yeah, I just want to make it a 3D. Okay, so these are the top five suppliers. And uh, let me save this analysis. So I just want to save this in a custom folder and maybe under uh, infolets folder i mean it you can share under any folders it's just for our uh, easy reporting pers uh, perspective i'm just sh sh uh, saving them under class infolets and i just want to give a name as say top five suppliers uh, bar chart so description is this bar chart shows Top five suppliers based on invoice amount. And I should say this info net. That's fine. Okay. Uh, similarly, uh, this is already, let me save this. Yeah. Okay. Similarly, I also want to create a uh, pie chart and again I want to go edit this and to call it top five suppliers pie chart and uh, save this as top five suppliers chart so i have bar chart as well as pie chart okay so this is also saved okay now i have bar chart and pie chart done so now that means now we have the two items which i can use in my info lens so it was this okay now go back to home page Okay, now we have created the uh, the source data, the source report, which we can use in our infolet. Now, how can we create an infolet? Go to your uh, username, click on edit pages. When, when you click on edit pages, you get this kind of a warning message. The tool page composer is in a read-only mode. To make an application changes, you must be in a sandbox that supports this tool. Activate a sandbox, yes, so you can create infolet only in your sandbox mode so click on that so this is your sandbox mode and uh, just try to create your own sandbox when you are doing that just ensure that you select the structure as well as page composer and then click on create sandbox and uh, give a name for your sandbox you can just say are we info let sandbox whether you want to publish this, yes. And then click on create. Okay, so RB infolet sandbox is your sandbox. So click on enter sandbox. Okay. 
you are in now sandbox mode okay go to home okay and then again click on your username click on again edit pages okay so now you are in real editing mode so scroll down here so this is where you are existing infolets if you want you can hide some of those existing infolets maybe just maybe if you do not want to see this infolet you can just say this and then click on delete or you can uh, edit visibility no save and close okay so once your editing is done and once you go to your home page uh, this will be uh, this uh, infolet will not be displayed okay. anyways click on this icon and then scroll down so here you can see create infolet okay what is the name of your infolet or what is the title for your uh, simple infolet which appears on your uh, home page so i just want to call it as ap top five suppliers list okay so here you have three things front view back view and expanded view so i'll get into the details when i show the infolet so for the timing first uh, ensure that you have a back view as well as expanded view and for as far as the front view is concerned what exactly should be the dimension so i just want to make it as maybe three by two that's okay if you just ignore this and then uh, back we also i just say yes or probably this one will be sufficient maybe make it as uh, two by three and then uh, is also not sufficient i'm not able to see the expanded view okay maybe make it Okay, so there are three things front view back view and expanded view so i'll explain what is the significance of these three okay let me first complete this based on the input click on save and close okay now scroll down your infolet is ready so this is your infolet top five ap suppliers now add the content so this is the front view so click on add content so what exactly you want to display here i just want to display the, my top five suppliers say bar chart go to reporting and analytics so whatever the uh, top five suppliers uh, bar chart which we have created that should be and which we have saved under custom folder that should be available under obie repository shared folders custom and uh, class info let's see our folder and uh, top five supplies bars add that Of my suppliers, I mean, it's added. I mean, like once you get it to your normal mode, you will be able to see the other uh, suppliers as well. Okay, so this is the front view. Now, if you click on uh, this, this is your back view. So, back side, what do you want to add? Maybe in the back side, I want to add, say, uh, pie chart. Top five suppliers, pie chart. Okay, so this is the pie chart and this is the expanded view what exactly you want to add an expanded view so for the time being i'll just leave the expanded view as blank let's focus only on the uh, front view and back view so i can click on this it goes to your collapsed uh, view okay so this is your back view this is your front view 
So once you have done adding of your required data to your uh, info, let's close this and then we need to publish this. Only once it is published, the data will be available. Publish. So you should get a pop up message here. You will be taken to the page with the sandbox results where you can publish the sandbox. We want to continue, just say yes. And then again, click on publish. Again, you can just say, do you want to continue, just say yes. So you are publishing your sandbox. So once your publishing is done, you should come out of your sandbox mode. Okay, go to your home page. Now you are out of your sandbox mode. Now you're in your normal mode. Now go to your infolets section and see if you are able to see your the infolet whatever you have created. This is the infolet whatever you have created. So this is the front view. This is the back view. Okay, now we are not able to see the entire uh, part, right? So what we can do here, Edit title and views. You can just edit only title, but uh, I just want to increase this. Yeah, you can see this here. We can see this here. And under expanded, we did not add anything. So. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we can just scroll down and then you should be able to see all the top five subjects. Similarly, this is back view. Scroll down and then you should be able to drag it here. And click on this, then it should take you to the expanded view for which we did not add any content. So that's the reason it is blank. Again, click on this, it will be collapsed view. So this is how you create your infolets in Oracle Fusion. Again, in this case, whatever the infolet, whatever I've created is applicable for each and every user. So any user who logs into the system will be able to see this particular dashboard, but obviously we do not want each and every infolet to be visible to each and every user. So there should be a way to restrict that. So just uh, wait for my next video. In the next video, I'll show you how to restrict the uh, visibility of the infolet to a specific uh, role or to a specific user there are some criteria so you can write your own criteria based on which you can restrict the visibility of the uh, infolet based on the rules whatever you write okay thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you